So I just finished getting ready. I'm gonna get the kids, call them downstairs and do breakfast and start school. So this is our school room. We have our calendar here and our pledges, which we do every morning, supplies, and then the triplets work here. And I have all their work set out the night before. Looks like someone's been down here already. We got papers out. Um, but I will set up their desk. So this is Zach and Natalie and Joanna. And then I will have all the worksheets we're doing um, on top of their preschool workbook, anything we're doing extra um, is set up here. This is where they work. Got their little number cards and flip books and things like that. And then over here is Noah's desk and Izzy is over there. And for both of them, while I get started with preschool with the triplets, they are working on um, handwriting and um, building writers. So we use building writers from Learning Without Tears it's a really great way to build great writers. So Noah will get to work um, on one page of this and a couple pages of handwriting. And then Izzy is really good with language arts and writing, so she'll probably do two pages in her book. And then she is working on cursive right now. So I try to set all this up um, the night before so that it's ready to go in the morning. We start our day by saying our three pledges. The pledge to the American flag, the Christian flag, and the Bible. We got our signs from September & Co. After that, Noah and Izzy start on their writing while I do preschool with the triplets. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. We always start by doing days of the week in the calendar. After we sing our days of the week song, I'll ask them to find what date it is today and how to find the day of the week that it is, as well as what will the day be tomorrow and what was the day yesterday. Next, we talk about the months of the year, the seasons, and the weather outside today. Next, we head to their triplet table to work on their handwriting skills. We use createprintables.com because it's totally free to create custom printables for your school or homeschool. I made it. Let me see you, Joe. Make another one. Cross the top line, cross the dotted line, cross the bottom. Good job, make another one. Yes. Yay! Zeki, you trace your E? E. E. Oh, trace your uppercase E's, bud. E. This one. Okay, Nani, good job. I want you to make sure you put it on across the down, do across the top line, across the dotted line, and across the bottom line. Okay, so it's not floating in the air like that. Let me see. Go down. Now go across the top. Across the dotted. And do my dots. Across the bottom. And across the bottom. I'm done. I want to see if you can read this. Okay, so what's this letter? I, so that's I, the word I, and what's this letter? D. D says? D. And then this letter is? I. I, and I says? I. I. And this letter is? G. And it says? G. So if we sound this word out, I want you to look at this and tell me each sound, okay? This one? D. D. Yes, D. I, 
D I G D I G dig dig so this says I, I dig dig you read something mm. you read a word good I job know, again I, da da I, ga. so what word is that dig dig yes that a girl after handwriting, we move on to number recognition. I got these giant cards from Rebecca and I love them because of how big and clear they are. I'll also ask the triplets if the number belongs to the tens family or the ones family. After that, it's time to start on our good and the beautiful worksheets. I'll use our flip books to work on letter recognition with them one-on-one -on -one later. My older two kids work on reading while I'm doing preschool with the triplets. After that, we start on our math. For time efficiency, I'll teach Noah anything new he's learning that day and go over his worksheet and then let him work independently. While he's working independently, I'll start on addition flashcards with Isabel because she needs more help with math than he does. I try to incorporate manipulatives to help her understand. These are great and I got them from learning resources. Once her brain is warmed up and primed for math, we'll move on to her worksheets. I go over them and then sit with her as she does them until she can gain more confidence. At about 10 o'clock, it's snack time. The triplets will go eat at the counter, and I'll bring the snack to the kids at their desk so they can continue working. To complete Noah's math, we'll finish up with some multiplication flashcards. Then it's time to move on to language arts. Noah starts off with poetry reading, and then we move on to spelling. Once we've learned all the new content for the day, I will go over his independent work and then he will work on that while I help Izzy. For Isabel, her language arts starts with working on her spelling words for the week. Then we move on to reading and writing skills. about done with our homeschool day at this point we still have to do bible and science for noah usually we're done by about noon but because i was vlogging today it kind of extended the time a little bit um but we usually school in about four hours so eight to noon um so we're going to finish that up but i wanted to talk real quick about the curriculums that we use so the majority of what we use is the good and the beautiful and um, Alpha Omega Horizons for math. And I really love both of these curriculums. We used them last year and um, have gone back to using them now that we're homeschooling again this year. Um, and so I'll start, I'll share the triplets are using the pre-K um, curriculum from Good and the Beautiful. And it comes with these um, like letter flip books. Hopefully it'll focus in on it. Um, where you can like kind of choose, they have to choose like, okay, match uppercase F to lowercase F. So they have to find lowercase F. Um, or what does F say? What does the word dog, what letter does it start with? So there's so many ways you can use them. And they've been really great with teaching um, the triplets and they have those for all the letters. They also have, uh, it comes with a lot of games that you can play um, and then built into um, the lessons are like activities too. So like this, you were supposed to use a cotton swab and paint because we were shorter on time today. I just had them do a marker, but um, they have lots of activities and games that keep them engaged too, which I feel like is really important for preschool. And then we also get our printables. We have letter printables. We have custom name printables. Um, and then we also have like number tracing and days of the week word tracing um, that I'm doing with them that um, I got from, I think it's createprintables.com and it's totally free to use, which has been really amazing. And let me see. So it looks like I got rid of their 
um, pre-writing doodle books from Good and the Beautiful um, because they were finished with them. But we did those last year um, too. And then we are very soon gonna be starting um, the um, kindergarten primer course for the triplets, um, which is not necessary before um, kindergarten, but um, it is a good way to prep them. And it has like more writing in it, tracing, um, learning the vowels, which the triplets already know their vowels because we do a special song. Um, so we use like bingo, but it's like, so we go A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowel letters. So we do that song um, for days of the week. We have a song. So it's days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. And so on. So it's the To the Adams Family song. And actually Noah got that from his teacher um, when he was at um, the private preschool um, that they were formerly at. Um, and I just used it last year because I'm like, that was actually a really genius song. So. Um, song is a great way to help the littles learn things. Um, but for level K primer, it says mastering letters, mastering numbers one through 15, learning long and short vowels, reading simple words, rhyming, sorting, and more. Um, so I got these actually number flashcards for them from Abeka um, on their site. Um, and I just like that they're really big. And so I do this with the triplets as well. And we're up to number, we're up to actually number 19. So they can recognize numbers one through 19. They still get nine and six, sometimes a little confused. Um, but I feel like that's normal. Um, also with the K primer, it comes with this little reading book. Um, and this is what I was working on with Joe today. Um, so really simple words, you know, I zip it, I mix it, I hit it, things like that. Short phrases and words um, for them to start getting ready to read um, in kindergarten because Izzy did the Good and the Beautiful Kindergarten Language Arts course last year. It is very challenging. It is very, I feel like, advanced. She is now amazing at language arts, at writing, at spelling, at understanding the concepts, and she's an incredible reader. Isabel is reading um, third grade level chapter books. She's reading her big brother's books um, with no problem. And so I really feel like it is just a really great curriculum, especially for um, fostering strong readers. I just really love how it's laid out. Um, but that is what we're doing for the triplets. For math, we use um, Horizons Math from Alpha Omega um, Publishers. And another curriculum I really love. Why do I love it? I love it because again, it's a challenging curriculum. Um, there's not a ton of fluff in it. They have a, I think if I remember correctly, it's called like a spiral approach to learning where instead of like learning a chunk and then you test on it, and then you learn something new and then you test on it. And then at the end of the year, you have this big test to see what you learn, um, which then all of a sudden you're going back and like, oh my gosh, I forgot about this or this or this. Instead of doing that, they do like, you learn something new, you practice it. Then you review everything you've learned before that, including the new skill. And then you learn another something new and then practice that and then review everything you've learned again. And then you learn something new, you practice it, and then you review all that you've learned up to that point. So like it's a constant review so that their skills aren't being forgotten. Um, and I have seen Noah really flourish um, with this curriculum. And I just feel like it's set up really well. And they're still like, like they still make it fun. Like you just did like fact families for multiplication and division on ice cream sandwiches today. So it's bright, it's colorful, it's fun, but it's also to the point, thorough, and not full of fluff. So um, 
Something I also didn't mention about the good and the beautiful is that it is really easy to teach. It's very easy to teach because it's literally open and go. And I will show you that in just a minute. Um, with the math, you can get the teacher book. Um, it has the answer key in it and it also has everything lined out for what you need to be teaching them for each lesson. Um, and I will usually just skim that like the night before and get an idea of what we're going to be going over and what I need to do with him before he does his worksheet. Um, and so that's a little bit of prep, but like not a ton because I very much like don't have a lot of time. I'm a work from home mom who's homeschooling. And so I need to be really efficient with my time and still be making sure that the kids are getting a quality education from me. And so these are two curriculums that have done a really good job um, doing that. And I'm starting to see the fruit of that from last year in Noah and Isabel. We use Good and the Beautiful for language arts. So it's open and go. You can see where it has the words like in blue. That is what you are going to be reading to the child to teach them. So there's like no prep with this. It is like all open and go. It covers geography, poetry, spelling, reading, writing, um, all of it. And um, I think does it in a really nice, nicely laid out way. Like I feel like it's a little bit of like classical conversations and a little bit of Charlotte Mason um, while not having to do all some of the extra stuff of classical conversations, um, which I kind of like because I liked that um, feel, but I didn't necessarily want to do a lot of the extra stuff that they do, the extra work that they do, which is great, but I didn't feel like it would fit for our family. Um, but like here's some of the artwork that's like in it. So. Um, they're teach taught art appreciation. So that is what um, we use and it's our second year. And like I said, I can definitely tell that the kids thrive with it. So it works really well for us and I highly recommend these curriculums to anyone. Um, like even if you're just starting out and you're overwhelmed, like that was me last year. I was so scared um, to do homeschooling. Um, and was so nervous about it. But once we got into the flow of things, it was great. And I don't mean to say like it's perfect every day and the kids want to do school every day and we never fight or have any, you know, pushback or things like that because that's not true. It's not realistic. You know, those days happen. But it was great from the standpoint of we got into a flow, we got into a routine and a rhythm. If you have any homeschooling questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer as much as I'm able to speak to. And you can also check out my blog. So if you go to www.unexpected-blessings.com, I have lots of great info over there um, about, you know, family life in general and our story and like recipes, um, as well as I have a homeschool um, tab at the top um, that you can click on and that has like why we switched back to homeschooling and our routine and um like a homeschool room tour um and things like that and i think i also linked the homeschool room tour from last year um as a one of the cards up here too in the video um but check that stuff out too if you follow on instagram it is unexpected.blessings on instagram um and i have a homeschool um, story highlight there with some helpful information too uh, but yeah, leave a comment. I'd love to answer. I'd love to help. And I hope this was helpful to you in some way. And we will see you next time.